The administration has pleaded with the opposition CCC not to impugn the honor and integrity of state institutions by attributing their internal disputes to them. Internal conflict within the CCC recently led to the recall of many members from their council and parliamentary posts. The recalls were started by Mr. Senjizo Chibangu, who wrote to the Speaker of the National Assembly under the guise of being the CCC's interim secretary general. The CCC later declared that it will temporarily stop participating in parliamentary and council operations. The CCC's internal power battles should not be mistaken for a national issue, said Acting Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Trade Professor Aman Rawaira in response to these developments. The fact that political parties are not required by law to take part in national processes was stressed by him. According to Section 129.1K of the Zimbabwe Constitution, the political party to which the affected member belongs is in charge of recalling members of parliament. The Speaker of the National Assembly or the President of the Senate must receive a formal notice from the party. Neither the administration nor the governing ZANU-PF party started the recalls. Professor Mawaira went on to say that the President of the Senate and the Speaker of the National Assembly are required by law to act swiftly on messages regarding recalls that they receive from political parties. They are obligated to obey the law in these situations and lack discretion. He made it clear that only the communications authors have the power to withdraw such communications. They cannot be changed or blocked. Although having a constitution and organizational structures is not legally required, Professor Merwira emphasized their significance in order to avoid confusion. According to him, if an opposition party willingly decides to withdraw itself from legislative proceedings either temporarily or permanently, it does not lead to a constitutional crisis. There is no law in Zimbabwe requiring involvement in national processes, therefore parties and people are free to take part or not. Political observers pointed out that the recalls of CCC lawmakers were probably brought about by the party's contentious candidate selection procedure prior to the elections, which upset several senior members. Tenai Bidi, a former vice president of the party, as well as Kakaka Fulu, Anil Ndebele, and Senjizo Chibanga himself were notable individuals impacted by the process. A political analyst from Bulawayo, Mr. Methuseli Moyle, offered his opinion on the issue in light of these occurrences and claimed that a party lacking in institutions, a constitution, and fundamental ideals could not retain stability. He blamed Mr. Chamisa, the party's leader, for the problems, attributing them to the opaque, divisive, and unjust candidate selection procedure within the party. Mr. Moyo advised Mr. Chamisa to speak with Mr. Chibangu in order to reach a compromise, stressing that leaving parliament would not solve the problems.